everything to you. Um, going back to Wednesday when I got a phone call that said that I was going to be replaced in California. And I thought, surely not. We've got a contract that I would be racing the number 79 through California. And um, then I got another phone call and was surprised at the news that the team owner was saying that I was starting and parking at Bristol. And the thing is, I have made a commitment to my fans, to NASCAR, to myself, to my career, you know, potential sponsors, that I don't start and park. I had a member of the media once tell me that he thought I was just a start and park driver. And it was because I had such a low budget that I was with a lot of teams that were start and park teams. And I made a commitment that I would not do that. I just don't think it's the best thing for my career as I'm trying to be taken very seriously and grow my career despite not having a big budget. So when I heard that he was going to have a start in park, I was very concerned. And we had a team meeting yesterday um, before practice that talked about that we were going to race conservatively, that we needed to hold this car together and um, that we needed to get out of any packs and race without a scratch on the car. And I gave that team owner my commitment that I would do that, that I would practice conservatively, that I would qualify conservatively, and I upheld my end of the bargain to uh, maintain his one car that he owns. And about 10 minutes before the race, he explained to me that we were starting in parking. Well, I personally bought tires, not, not my money, but out of Jennifer Joe Cobb Racing account, bought tires for this race. The tire situation made this a very expensive weekend, so I can assure you that I wouldn't have bought a second set of practice tires, a set of race tires, to start and park today. And he allowed me to do all of those things and then told me 10 minutes before getting into the car that I was to start and park and that he had the authority to have NASCAR black flag me to make me do that. And then I said, well, if you can look me in the eye and tell me that we can be honest about this situation, that... I'm not doing this by choice that you're making me. I understand it's a business for you and you have to make that decision and you can look me in the eye and tell me that I'm racing in California. I'll do this for you. And he said to me, you're not racing in California. And my, um, my PR slash sort of general manager of the team said to him, you're breaking the agreement. You have an agreement. And he told her that as an employee of his, she is not to tell him what to do. And I thought about it for about 10 seconds, and I grabbed my gear, and I walked off. Why would I change my entire philosophy of my racing career to start and park for somebody to conserve a car that he's breaking the contract on and that I'm not even getting to race? So I made a, a bold decision, and I thank God that he gave me the strength to walk away.